Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for this absolutely beautiful 2014 Range Rover Vogue. This is the uh, 4.4 litre SDV8 and is the autobiography model. This car is finished in Loire blue, absolutely beautiful colour, uh, lovely, lovely dark blue, um, and has the, uh, the, the full black leather interior. Uh, just sort of walk you around the car, show you um, uh, the sort of overall condition of it, and then talk you through some of the specification and everything that this particular car has. Um, so, kicking off, we have these beautiful diamond-turned um, alloy wheels. They're all in absolutely perfect condition. Uh, have all recently been uh, refurbished and powder-coated, and also fitted with four brand-new Continental tyres all the way around. So, plenty of tread left on those, um, and uh, all in absolutely stunning condition. Uh, I won't show you each individual wheel, um, just um, you can take it from me that the, uh, they're all in absolutely perfect condition. Um, the bodywork is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it was recently detailed and then ceramic coated as well. Um, I mean, obviously, this, um, the car itself has done 73,000 miles. There are the odd sort of stone chips and, and bits and pieces like that, but, um, but certainly the sort of overall condition is, is absolutely exceptional um, uh, all the way around it. Uh, badges on the front and everything like that, all in very nice condition, um, often uh, start to sort of discolour and everything like that as well. Uh, we have adaptive Xenon headlights on the front. Um, and uh, really, all, again, all in lovely condition. There's no um, no sort of major scratches or anything like that to uh, to any of those. Front bumper uh, free of any marks, and uh, again, apart from the odd sort of very small stone chip or something. Um, certainly no dents or major scratches on the car at all. And we just come all the way down the driver's side. You can see all in absolutely beautiful condition. Same story around to the back. Rear bumper completely free of any loading marks and scratches. And again, all the way down the passenger side. All absolutely lovely. Mirror housing all nice and clean. Yeah, absolutely stunning condition all the way around. In terms of the specification, uh, we have the, re the um, reversing camera. We also have the cameras underneath the wing mirrors there for this sort of full 360 surround. And then we also have the, the lower down cameras here as well. Uh, we also have things like wading depth sensors uh, on the car, which again, I'll show you on the inside. Um, I think if I was gonna point out anything, I'd just say this is the worst sort of stone chipping to the car, just on this, um, this corner edge here. And really, that's the only part there to, to point out. Um, on the outside, we also have the uh, deployable side steps. A really nice option. And then we come through to the inside and you're met with this absolutely beautiful soft black leather. Driver's bolster in exceptional condition. Again, bearing in mind the car's done 73,000 miles, there's really nowhere there at all. Just your normal sort of amounts just there to the, to the side, but certainly like all of the stitching and everything like that is absolutely beautiful. These are heated and ventilated seats. I'm gonna try and remember all of the specification items on the car and, uh, and talk you through it. Uh, one of the highlights being the, um, the 1200 watt Meridian sound system with, uh, with uh, 29 speakers, I think, or something like that. Um, oh, very, very nice. Jump in, and we have the uh, TFT screen. Starts up beautifully. No warning lights at all. Cross here to the main touchscreen system. Uh, and some of these additional sort of specification highlights. Again, we have the um, the parking assistant and things like that, so the car will um, will automatically park into into spaces for you. We also have the the dual view television. So the TV there. Um, it's obviously the uh, the dual view system. Um, so uh, when you're driving along, the uh, the driver is not able to see uh, to see the screen itself, um, but passengers and everything like that are able to view it. Um, so again, that all works absolutely beautifully. Um, things like your uh, Bluetooth media streaming um, and onboard uh, hard drive with, with additional music and everything like that as well. Uh, come through to the camera section and we have the full surround view cameras, um, additional special views for things like junctions and things like that coming out and uh, all works again absolutely perfectly. 
Uh, the rest of your kind of media entertainment area, so DAB, digital radio, um, settings for the rear seat entertainment, which I'll, um, I'll show you in a second, uh, and obviously all of your, um, your, your navigation for, for Western Europe um, is all through there as well. Um, come through to the additional features, we've got the um, sort of 4x4 um, settings here, so if we turn it'll actually show you the wheels moving, um, and then uh, just all of your additional sort of uh, off-road information. And we also have the uh, things like the ambient lighting. We can come in and chop and change uh, all of the interior colours. At the moment, it's set to a rather fetching blue, as we'll see. Um, but we, as we can sort of cycle through the um, the different lighting here, you'll see these chop and change. I'm a fan of the blue. I think that looks nice. Um, yeah, and then just the rest of the sort of um, the sort of setup for the um, for the car. Uh, in here, like I said, access for your, for your cameras and, and uh, parking systems and all that kind of stuff. Uh, come down to here. We also have the rotary knob for your um, for your dr uh, driving for the automatic gearbox, um, and then we also have the terrain response as well. Um, so you can have the different sort of driving modes here, depending on what sort of surface you're on, and everything will automatically adjust. Uh, hill descent control. Uh, and then also low range as well for for, for serious off roading. Um, we also have fully adaptive air suspension, so the car can be um, can be, can be raised or lowered automatically. And then your electronic handbrake just down there. Through to the main contour, uh, center console, we have the small fridge for uh, for cans of drink or ch uh, chocolate bars or things like that. Uh, and then also all of your connections for your audio. Um, we have uh, 12 volt sockets there as well as USB and auxiliary as well. Uh, also have these beautiful um, seats, multi-adjustable, um, and the headrests here have these sort of additional pillows. It's very much like a sort of first-class lounge in here. It's all very, very nice indeed. Um, across to the main section over here, we have your uh, multifunction steering wheel, uh, all of your telephone controls, controls for your media, we have paddle shift um, automatic gearbox, we have uh, automatic headlights and automatic windscreen wipers, and then across over here, we also have the um, adaptive cruise control, which is a really lovely option to have as well, so it's sort of like radar guided, uh, and then also a heated steering wheel. Um, in terms of all the climate and everything, um, we've got settings for the rear, um, and then we also have um, the uh, massage seats in the front, uh, and then heated and cooled as well, so um, that sort of covers you for all climates. Um, again, all, all through this really nice touchscreen system here that we have up on, this, on the main screen. Just jumping out and I'll um, show you through to the back. We have the rear seat entertainment. Uh, we have uh, both sets of headphones here in these soft bags. Um, so again, that all works very, very nicely. And then we also have the uh, all of the, the rear climate and everything as well. So we have uh, cooled seats in the front and on the back. Uh, autobiography, embossed lettering in the headrests. And then um, all your cup holders, uh, storage areas and everything like that. And the um, remote control for the, uh, for the rear seat. Back seats. Really in absolutely exceptional condition. Don't like that look like they've had a, a huge amount of wear at all. No kick marks to the backs of the seats or anything like that. Another really nice option is the uh, parking heater uh, control. So that's done on here on the remote control. So uh, in the winter, you can just uh, press the button uh, from outside the, uh, the car uh, from the comfort of your home and the heated seats will kick in this e uh, heated steering wheel. Uh, and also defrost all of the windows and just sort of prepare the car for you as well. It's a really lovely feature to have in the winter. Around to the back, we have a fully electric tailgate that pops up there. And then the bottom section pulls down. And then we also have a semi-rigid uh, uh, load liner in the back there as well, just to protect all of the, um, all of the carpet area. And then also we have the buttons down here. We can actually fold the um, the uh, back seats down. And back again, making loading really nice and easy. Close everything up, just press it up here. And the main section closes. In addition to the rear tailgate, we also have soft closed doors on all doors here as well. Uh, so they'll, uh, they'll automatically close. 
then come around to this side. Again, the deplo deployable side steps on the side. Lovely autobiography uh, lettering. We also have fully electric seats in the back as well, so we can make adjust adjustments to these for forwards and backwards. And then the beautiful panoramic sunroof that goes all the way across and the Alcantara suede headlining. Again, all in absolutely beautiful condition. Really, really lovely. Uh, the car itself has a full Land Rover service history all the way through. We also have extended warranty through till uh, January 2021, um, and uh, which is a, a fully all-encompassing warranty and covers you for absolutely everything through the uh, Land Rover network. I hope you found the video useful. If we can help with any further information, if you require a finance uh, quotation or you have a past exchange to value, then please do let us know uh, and contact us through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to help. Uh, ultimately, we'd love to get you down to, uh, to show you the car in person, uh, take you out for a test drive and see what you think. Thank you very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.